Our region is expanding and tonight we're highlighting the effort to make sure first responders can keep up. Plus, the Federal Reserve raising interest rates again today, what that means for the economy and possible backlash coming up. And a beautiful day today, but we are talking big changes on the way tomorrow. Jason will get you and your family ready with his forecast. Now, Cap KVU Local News at 5. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner. The life-saving opioid reversal drug, Narcan, also known as naloxone, has become a staple in a first responder's first aid kit. It's being used even in rural places like Yakima County's West Valley. Cap KVU's Emily Goodell spoke to West Valley Fire Chief Nathan Craig, who says this is a great tool, but it's expensive and it does have its limits. The chief says, well, Narcan can and does save lives. It doesn't always save everyone, and it's not a one-size-fits-all solution, but more of a band-aid. One dose might not be enough to revive a person. Sometimes it takes multiple doses to get them to wake up. And firefighters say even if you do have your own Narcan and use it, the person still needs to go to the hospital for further treatment. And while it does help in a lot of cases where people have been using illegal drugs, that's not the only time it's useful. We have had situations where, um, like had an elderly female who had opioids for, you know, maybe a hip replacement or whatever, took their medication, forgot that evening, took their medication again, and now they're, they're having a drug overdose, and we've been able to Narcan them and, and get them back to, to square. The fire department does not supply individuals with Narcan, but in Washington state, you can go online and order some for free without a prescription. Reporting in West Valley, Emily Goodell, Cap KVU, Local News. Thanks, Emily. The city of Spokane is hoping to crack down on people using drugs in public. They're proposing a new ordinance that increases the punishment for those who get caught. Police say at the moment there's not much they can do about people using drugs in public, although they are hoping the state legislature will change that soon. We are not trying to arrest our way out of this issue. Um, treatment is part of the proposed legislation, the ability to refer, that's something that we have the ability to do now and would continue to do. I get emails every day about people worried about their safety as they're walking down, the safety of their kids, uh, people who work uh, and play throughout the city talking about people using on the side of the streets um, causes an inherent danger to them. Now, if Spokane approves the Safe Open Spaces Act, people caught using drugs in public places within city limits could face almost a year in jail instead of three months. The city council is expected to vote next month. Here in our area, Franklin County Fire District 3 provides fire and life safety services to more than 8,000 people in the North Franklin County area. In 2022, the fire district responded to more than 800 calls, 50% of which were for EMS. That was a record number of responses for the district. Over time, the levy rate has fallen from $1.27 to just $1.04, while the fire department says call volume has increased by nearly 50%. Without voters lifting the levy lid, the district can only bring it up by about 1% per year. Fire Chief Mike Harris explains they're asking voters to consider voting to lift it to cover rising costs due to inflation and that higher call volume we talked about. It doesn't leave much room set aside for reserves, for capital, or for equipment. We spend all of our money that we get, so we don't have money set aside for fire station remodels, new, new construction that we might need, or buying new fire trucks or ambulances. They're also hoping to bring in another firefighter to the district with this levy if it passes. The fire district is asking voters to consider raising the fire levy by 30 cents per thousand dollars of assessed property value. That's coming up in the election later this year. Right now, let's talk weather. It's drying out and getting warmer. Jason Valentine has a look at your Cap KVU First Alert forecast. Good Wednesday evening, everyone. Hope you've had a wonderful day. Hope you got out and enjoyed the sunshine today. Light winds, warm temperatures, at least for the beginning part of spring, and just nice conditions, dry conditions. But we're going to see a change as we get into tomorrow. We're going to start to see building clouds as we get into tomorrow morning, and we have a good chance of some scattered showers in your morning hours and also in your evening hours. Also, we're going to be a bit cooler. This is for the Tri-Cities. 
We're going to be in the upper 50s, but many areas will be in the mid to lower 50s, and we're going to cool down even more by the time we get to our weekend. So again, folks, I hope you had time to get out and enjoy, or if not uh, this evening, because it's going to continue to be very nice, but we're going to see winds start to pick up tomorrow morning for the mid-Columbia and the Blues, and a little bit in the afternoon for Yakima and Ellensburg. Showers, cooler temperatures all on the way, and so get ready for a bit of a change as we get to Thursday and cooler temperatures on the way this weekend. All that in your full forecast is coming up, but for right now, let's send it back to you. Thanks, Jason. This, earlier today, the state lawmakers started work on a proposal that would allow duplexes and fourplexes in more neighborhoods across the state. House Bill 1110 would require cities with more than 25,000 people, like Walla Walla, to allow duplexes in all residential areas. Cities with more than 75,000 people, like Kennewick and Pasco, they would have to allow fourplexes in all neighborhoods. This proposal has already passed the State House and is now working its way through the State Senate. One committee voted on it earlier today. It now advances to a second State Senate committee. A homeless camp on the side of I-90 that was one of the largest in the state is now just a fraction of the size. But now the city of Spokane is asking the courts to declare the camp a chronic drug nuisance property. The city is asking for a superior judge to authorize a warrant to clear what remains of this camp. It is on Department of Transportation property. The mayor of Spokane, though, says while city officials have been in talks with the state for months, they still haven't been able to come up with a timeline to close the camp for good. And it's time to allow the neighborhood to get back to normal. For the people who work there, who own businesses there, who live there, they, they've been ignored in this entire equation. We're all in agreement that the camp needs to be decommissioned and closed, but we gotta have a solution for these folks or they just become homeless again. Now, the state said basically the same thing. They said declaring the camp a nuisance would, drastic, would be drastic action that they said would not reduce the homelessness crisis that is facing the city of Spokane. It would just move people around. Now, at one point, there were over 600 people living at the camp. Now, that's down to the lower 60s. But a court hearing on the request to remove the camp is coming up tomorrow. In Oregon, lawmakers have given their final approval to a plan putting $200 million towards tackling the homeless, housing and homelessness crisis. Some of that money would go towards rental assistance to stop people from becoming homeless in the first place, as well as increasing shelter capacity and rapid rehousing efforts. It would also invest in a factory-produced modular housing. That proposal now goes to Oregon Governor Tina Kotek for her signature. Across the country tonight, interest rates are going up again. Today, the Federal Reserve announced another quarter of a percent rate, rate hike, which means that banks now have to charge each other around 5% interest. They'll typically charge you even more. We have had nine interest rate hikes in the past year because the Fed is trying to slow down inflation by making it more expensive to borrow money. Right now, inflation is still around three times as high as officials want it to be. The process of getting inflation back down to 2% has a long way to go and is likely to be bumpy. Now that post-pandemic inflation spike has been bad for our wallets, but raising interest rates as fast as the Federal Reserve has done in the past year, that's blamed for contributing to the banking crisis. And while unemployment has been low so far, we could see those numbers change if slowing down cash flow in the economy makes companies decide they can't afford to hire more workers. Eastern Washington hospitals may see extra pressure as an Idaho Panhandle hospital just announced it's closing its labor and delivery services later this spring. And we've seen a couple of hospitals start limiting services in the past few months. In this case, though, it's not a funding shortage. Office, officials at Bonner General Hospital in Sandpoint, Idaho, say they're losing staff. In particular, they say obstetricians are leaving the state because of new laws in Idaho making it easier to sue doctors who provide abortions and other pregnancy-related health care procedures. The hospital is telling pregnant people now to plan on giving birth at Kootenai Health, which is 40 miles away from Sandpoint. It means an extra hour in good weather to get down to Kootenai. I am not an obstetrician. Um, if I have to deliver a baby, um, I'll do my absolute best, but I can't take somebody to C-section. I don't have anywhere near the training. Now the hospital says it's also lost pediatricians to take care of babies immediately after they're born, 
which also contributed to the decision to close the labor and delivery services. All right, let's talk weather. While we're enjoying sunshine, another powerful storm is bringing life-threatening conditions to California. At least two people have already been found dead. Strong winds brought down trees. They left thousands of people without power. And today, 12 states are on alert for heavy rain, wind, snow, and flooding as that same storm moves east. ABC's Tim Pulliam has the latest. A soggy California getting soaked from another powerful storm. Near the Bay Area, strong winds knocking down trees and power lines. This driver trying to navigate through all this debris. Right now, thousands are without power, including Gregory Griffin, when this tree fell down. I'm thankful it went that way, because when we just drove up, we were like, oh my goodness. This satellite image showing what this record-breaking storm looks like from space. Torrential downpours dumping several inches of rain from L.A. to the Bay Area. People dealing with flooded homes and washed out roads. The impact slowing down first responders. We're delayed due to uh, weather conditions. Today is the day to not be driving. At least two people were killed when a tree fell on their car. Just north of Oakland, dozens of people rescued when an Amtrak train derailed after hitting a downed tree. Downtown Los Angeles has seen nearly three times more rain than Seattle this year with more than 20 inches. A lot of people want to see the sunshine again, but me personally, I love it. I'm like, bring it on. I mean, who knows when it's going to rain like this again? This latest storm now moving east. Heavy snow expected in the Rockies, Colorado under an avalanche warning through Thursday. As the system moves across the country, places like Texas, Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi could see severe storms and possible tornadoes. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Los Angeles. Now again, here in our area, we're seeing mostly sunshine for now, but that is going to change very soon. Jason Valentine has a look at your first alert forecast coming up in just a moment. And still ahead on CAPKV Local News at 5, we're taking you to Oregon for a glimpse inside Kids Corner. It's a brand new store hoping to give families a break on some typically expensive purchases. We'll be right back. This is Ford Truck Month, America. Time to get into Ford F-150. All amped up and ready for work or play. Get 0.9 for 60 plus 3,000 low APR cash on a 22 F-150 XLT. It's your local Ford dealer. Stay connected with your world wherever, whenever with a CapKVU Plus app. We begin with breaking news tonight. Big stories, first alert weather, live streaming, and more. CapKVU Plus, available in the App Store and Google Play. It's Gwyneth Paltrow versus the other skier, day two. Who's got the witnesses? We are in court as the he said, she said trial heats up. Then inside Chrissy and John's party of five. So how's it been now with three kids? Next extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Cap KVU. I was diagnosed when I was 39. I found a lump. Within a week it had grown so immensely. I could see it in the mirror. It's such a whirlwind when you're diagnosed with cancer. The most important thing in your life is your health. If I could tell a young person who was thinking about their health anything about breast cancer, I would just say be as proactive as possible and get checked. Do you have a current vehicle loan or lease? Yes. Do you want a low financing rate? Yes. Do you want a new ride? Yes. Zero down and 1.9% financing even on used vehicles. SteveHahnAutoGroup.com If you're injured on the job, you need an experienced workers' compensation attorney. Workers' compensation is complex. It has its own laws, doctors, courts, and judges. For years as an assistant attorney general, I represented labor and industries. Now, I fight for injured workers. If you can't work, let us go to work to get you benefits. Call toll-free 1-888-665-8630. Bothwell and Hamill. Next ET. You got the rock star DNA. Well, that was also extensive rehearsal. <laughs> Riley Keough before the finale of Daisy Jones and the Six. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Cap KVO. You 
This is Ford Truck Month, America. Time to get into Ford F-150. All amped up and ready for work or play. Get 0.9 for 60 plus 3,000 low APR cash on a 22 F-150 XLT at your local Ford dealer. Smoke City for less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. Welcome back, everyone, for clothes and accessories for preemies through age 14 and maternity. A Hermiston shop just had their grand opening. It's called Kids Corner, and Cap KV's Riley Fitzgerald says it is one of a kind for the area. Kids Corner is the only store in Hermiston that's a dedicated secondhand baby, kid, and maternity shop. The owner of Kids Corner got the idea from stores in Union County, Oregon, with the same concept and realized that there wasn't anything like it up here. Mandy Parsons is the owner, and she explains how this shop went from an idea to reality quicker than you might think. I'm kind of one of those on a whim type people and when I get an inspiration I kind of run with it. I'm like okay let's see if they'll accept our application and he did and then it went from there. So it was just it was kind of a godsend and it's all just kind of fell into place. Parsons says she got the idea in January and the doors opened in February. Kids Corner is open Tuesday through Friday and every third Saturday of the month. Find more information on our website, yaktrynews.com. In Hermiston, Riley Fitzgerald, Cap KVU Local News. Now, Cap KVU First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Wednesday evening, everyone. Hope you're able to get outside and enjoy at least part of today. What a day. Highs in the mid to upper 50s, lower 60s. Plenty of sun and dry conditions, but we have changes coming tomorrow. We have quite a bit of wind coming in. Also light showers tomorrow. Let's get to those showers. As we get into our overnight period, we're going to be looking pretty nice, but a little bit building clouds. Then as we get to your morning hours, we're going to see some shower activity rolling through Ellensburg, Yakima, Toppenish. And as we move along in the morning, we'll see more of it going into the Blue Mountain region. Uh, the Tri-Cities could uh, miss out, and some of our places could miss out about a 50% chance of those showers. Then as we head in into the afternoon itself. We have more scattered showers. We could see a very heavy cell coming through in the evening hours through Pendleton. That also means some snow for the upper elevations of the blues. Then this will be moving along. But again, on Friday morning, we do have a chance of seeing a little bit more shower activity. So of course, we're going to keep an eye on that. But after today's just perfect day, we're seeing big changes on the way. We're going to slowly cool down towards our weekend. Our Nadir is on Saturday at 52. So this is for the Tri-Cities. That means our areas will be in the mid to upper 40s to lower 50s. Then we'll slowly warm up into our next work week. But today was the warmest day that we're going to be seeing for the next seven days at least. And winds, as I said, are changing tomorrow as well. 15 to 25 mile per hour winds tomorrow. Uh, maybe just a touch off of that by your Friday. But we're going to see those winds start in the early morning for the Blues and Mid-Columbia areas and then start to get to Yakima and Ellensburg as we get into their afternoon. So get ready for a blustery end of our work week. We are going to slow down, though, as we head into our weekend and our next work week as we start to see things stabilize as we get to the middle part of next week and warmer. So today for our almanac, we're right by our normal average. We're a little warmer than that, a little warmer in our overnight period as well, even though our overnights were much colder than overnight into this morning due to no cloud coverage. We'll, we'll have a bit more cloud coverage coming up, so we'll see a bit more warmer temperatures overnight. For the Tri-Cities, right there at the normal and much warmer than our overnight low average. So we have a countdown for 2023 Mariners opener a week from tomorrow. Oh, it's getting here, guys. Easter is 18 days away. The NFL draft is just a little bit more than a month away right here on Cap Cave View ABC. So overnight tonight, we are mostly clear until the early morning hours. 40 for the Tri-Cities. Other than that, we're above the freezing level. Again, a little bit warmer than we saw overnight last night. As we get into tomorrow, uh, we're taking a bit of a hit in our highs mid to upper 50s for most of our areas, right at 51 for Ellensburg. And we will see some sunshine with us dodging those scattered showers, mostly in the morning and then in the evening hours. But again, uh, it'll be a little heavier for Pendleton and Walla Walla. So as we move along in our week with that slight chance of some early showers Friday, and then we'll start to settle down into our weekend. Lower 50s for your weekend with more sunshine than not. Overnight lows above or at the freezing level for the week ahead. And we do start to warm up by midweek next week. 
in the Yakima region tomorrow 55 and then right around that 50 degree mark if not uh, upper 40s more sunshine for your weekend looking pretty nice for your weekend and will warm up of course as we get to midweek next week so folks get ready for big changes after today's just wonderful day we're going to have winds 15 to 25 miles per hour morning and evening scattered showers and a bit cooler temperatures but still we're almost there to the weekend Thanks, Jason. The Tri-City Regional Chamber of Commerce hosted its annual meeting and awards luncheon this afternoon at the Three Rivers Convention Center. This started with a sponsor expo. The chamber then presented awards. They looked back on some of the successes from last year and looked forward to upcoming projects. The 2023 Tri-City Regional Chamber Board Chair was also introduced at the lunch. And congratulations to all of the award recipients. Um, 2022 was a phenomenal year for many businesses and we're honored to recognize their accomplishments and, and what a great um, group of organizations uh, was selected. So congratulations to you all. Some of those awards included local businesses on a roll, the Chamber Impact Awards, the Chamber Star Recipient, and a new Nonprofit on a Roll Award. Congratulations. Now, next on CapKV Local News, we are once again talking about bird flu. And even after the virus resulted in a record number of bird deaths last year, we're talking about a new concern that has some doctors watching closely. Portion of CapKV is sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. When I'm with you, when I'm with you. You're pregnant. You're gonna be one hell of a dad. I learned from the very best. A Million Little Things, The Farewell Season, tonight on ABC. The journey home can look a little different to everyone. That's why our expert technicians are here to make sure that wherever you feel at home, whether it's when you're hard at work, surrounded by loved ones, or cheering them on from the sidelines, you get there. Because we know a vehicle is really more than a vehicle. It's your way home. Find your next Subaru at McCurley Subaru and get 3.9% financing. Live better and love your home with the unique items and expert interior design you'll find only at Spencer Carlson. Our team of designers has given life to new construction and new life to remodeling projects for 30 years. For a limited time, you can upgrade to the stylish design of American Leather's Comfort Sleeper Silver and Today's Sleeper and enjoy the lowest prices of the year with delivery in as little as six weeks. Spencer Carlson, unsurpassed furniture and design for life. There's a new tax refund called the Working Families Tax Credit from the Washington State Department of Revenue. Those who qualify could get up to $1,200 back. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. It's the Mega RV Spring Fling event. This Thursday through Sunday only at the Happo Center. Save big with special show pricing on motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and more. All of your favorite brands under one roof. Tiffin, Newmar, Rockwood, Grand Design, and more. Hundreds of new and used RVs to choose from. Get ready for spring adventures now. Don't miss the Mega RV Spring Fling event. Thursday through Sunday at the Happo Center on Burton Boulevard. The good news. U.S. Cellular gives you $500 off any phone when you choose an unlimited evolved plan. So nice. So, friend who always has a broken phone can finally get a new one. It's just a scratch. <laughs> it's broken. Oh. oh. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. We know vaccines, immunizations, and boosters save lives. They nearly eradicated polio, protected our infants from chicken pox and measles, and kept our kids safe from whooping cough and meningitis. The best way to keep your family safe from these viruses is to stay informed about when to get vaccinated. If you have questions about vaccinations, like COVID-19 or the flu, talk with your health care provider today. Learn more at askyourprovider.org. The seasons are changing and that means birds will be migrating north. Experts say last year around this time, bird flu was being spread from wild birds headed north to domestic flocks. Tens of millions of birds across the country had to be killed because when it comes to them, there's no flu shot and no cure. If a case shows up in just one domestic bird, that is a death sentence for the entire block. Typically, bird flu does not spread to humans, but you may remember last year, we saw a few cases where mammals like raccoons were killed by the flu. 
That's now reportedly becoming more common. Seals, mink, fox, bears being identified to be infected with the strain. If you see a bird that has died on your uh, grounds uh, in your property, don't go up and handle the bird because what we're seeing is that in the few cases of avian influenza among humans, that has been the route. Now, since we already have a flu vaccine for humans, Reuters reports it would be fairly easy to create an updated version that can fight this version of the bird flu if it starts spreading among people. But as you just heard, most of the cases right now are going from birds to people in the rare cases that it happens. We'll take a final look at your weather when we come back. Plus, a school shooting in Denver left two adults injured. Tonight, investigators are saying the alleged shooter was a student, checked for weapons every day, and now on the run. World News Tonight is tracking that developing story tonight at 5.30. Portion of KFKV is sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Like, yeah. The stylish Chevy Equinox RS like, uh, and Chevy Blazer RS. So you don't have to be an influencer to be an influencer. The, the RS family of Chevy SUVs definitely worth a follow. Get 2.9% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Equinox models or get $1,000 cash allowance on all 2023 Equinox models. See your community Chevy dealers. Watch me. Watch me grapple, move, and pin. When I hit the mat, don't underestimate the grin. I've got state championships and medals to show, but it's about more than just winning. This you should know. Overcoming odds through therapy and care. The road was long, now opponents beware. Watch me. Game-changing sports medicine at Shriners Children's. The most amazing care anywhere. At Vapiano, we invite you to slow down, enjoy the journey. Make a reservation today. Taste wine where it's created. Sample a variety of wines from Sauvignon Blanc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, and make it a day to remember. Vapiano Estates, Walla Walla. It's here, it's now, the Grand National RV Show. Barnard RV North Spokane is hosting the Grand National RV Show March 23rd through April 1st. Shop over 120 RVs inside the West Coast's largest indoor showroom. Motorhomes, camper vans, fifth wheels, and trailers. The time to buy is now. The Grand National RV Show, March 23rd through April 1st, indoors at RR RV North Spokane. Special show pricing, giveaways, and food vendors on site. Visit rnrrv.com for more info. We're celebrating our 28th anniversary with a new Bronco Sport giveaway. During Punch It For Bucks and Broncos at Wild Horse Resort and Casino. Punch the board and win over $4,000 in big bucks and 2,800 entries to boost your chances to win a Ford Bronco Sport every Friday and Sunday in March. Plus, don't miss Bronco Billy's bonus rounds where you can earn double the bucks. Be sure to join us on Saturdays for a special anniversary 28-time entry multiplier. Wild Horse Resort and Casino, Pendleton, Oregon. More winners, more often. Do you have a current vehicle loan or lease? Yes. Do you want a low financing rate? Yes. Do you want a new ride? Yes. Zero down and 1.9% financing even on used vehicles. SteveHahnAutoGroup.com The Beach Boys, the Demolition Derby, and the PRCA Rodeo. All part of this summer's Walla Walla Fair and Frontier Days. Tickets go on sale March 31st, but Cap KVU is giving them away now. Click on contests at yaktrynews.com to enter. Tonight, the Fed's decision on interest rates amid concerns about America's banks. Plus, the nation's second largest school district shut down. Could there be a ripple effect? More Americans turn to the most watched newscast on television. World News Tonight with David Muir. Welcome back. We've got beautiful weather out there this evening, but it is still early spring and changes are coming. Jason Valentine has a final look at your forecast. All right, folks, let's get you ready for your Thursday. We're going to see those winds start to pick up 15 to 25 mile per hour for the Tri-Cities in the morning hours. Scattered showers in the morning and in the afternoon, but still we'll see some sunshine in Yakima. We'll see those winds start to hit in the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, but again, scattered showers for all of our areas early and late. Better chance for sustained showers in Walla Walla and in Pendleton. they will be just a touch cooler tomorrow, right around 53 for Walla Walla. Ellensburg looking pretty nice, but your highs after being in the mid 50s today are in the upper 40s. So again, folks, heavy winds tomorrow with on and off showers in the morning in the afternoon.
Thanks, Jason, and thank you so much for watching. World News Tonight with David Muir is next. CapKVU Local News is back tonight at 6. And of course, you can find all the latest anytime on our website, yaktrynews.com. We'll see you at 6.